Hey, thank you so much for checking out the product demo of Replen Dashboard. I'm really excited that you're here checking this out. Uh, this is a software that is built specifically to solve the inventory headaches of what it really is to have an Amazon arbitrage and wholesale business. Uh, it was designed by sellers for sellers uh, because we know what issues are happening in the business and how difficult it is to manage inventory uh, as you uh, grow your Amazon arbitrage and wholesale business. And so uh, this demo is going to be just a high level overview of what the software can do and how it can solve those problems for you. Uh, I do have some other uh, videos that we've created. Once you sign up for the software, we have videos that will help onboard you into the software so that you make sure to get your account connected, that you set up the profitability correctly, that you can get Keepa installed uh, and other software programs connected as well. So really excited to show this for you. Uh, whenever you log in and after your Amazon account is all set up, uh, this dashboard page will appear. Now this is all demo data. It's uh, you know not real data from a real account. So we just threw some numbers in here to show you what it looks like, but it does tally uh, the orders, the units. If you pay for any advertising, it'll include that information in there as well as your net margin, net ROIs for uh, everything from today all the way up to a 90 day history. And this is something that we'll continue to be revamping and add some new features in. So it might actually look a little bit different than what it does on this demo right now. Now, really where people want to know the most about is how can we help with managing your inventory? And so you can see there are two inventory options. There's inventory and inventory two. So we've got this in the inventory section. This is what it used to look like. We have done major updates to the user interface to make it more user friendly. So I'll show you what the inventory section used to look like. If you are somebody that are interested in using it, it is still available for the time being. I'm going to click stay here. Uh, I would suggest typically though per proceeding. But if I click stay here, you can see that it used to be um, it a little bit more confusing. So these red lines are to let you know that somebody's price is uh, lower than yours. And if it's something that is a white line, then that means that your pricing is in line with the pricing of the buy box. So you can see, though, there's a lot of rows and a lot of information and data to, to scale through uh, or to scroll through. Uh, but what I would suggest is if you take a look at this second inventory, which is the new inventory data, you can see that it's much nicer and cleaner looking. There's no scrolling to go um, you know, back and forth or left to right. It's much more clean database and inventory uh, dashboard essentially. So you can see that you've got the title of the product here. This ASIN, uh, if you were to click on that ASIN, it actually opens up the Amazon page. So if I were to click that, you can see that it opens up the Amazon page for that specific product. I'll close out of that real quick. In addition to that, it pulls up all of your SKUs. So if you need to copy the SKU, you can do that. And it also provides a Keepa link to check out the Keepa product page. So if you have a Keepa subscription and you click this, it will open up the Keepa page for this ASIN, which is a very quick button for you to be able to access that if you're trying to check out your profitability, if you're trying to check out the sales history and the seller history, et cetera. Now in this, you can also see uh, that it shows you if it's an FBA product or merchant fulfilled and you can uh, select which one you want or if you want them all to be showing, that's fine. Uh, it shows your quantity, which is your quantity in stock right now. And so if you put your mouse, hover your cursor over that, it will show you all of the data that goes into that calculation uh, and why uh, that number is, uh, is showing. In addition to that, the next one is what's in local inventory. So as you buy things, especially if you're using our app, as you buy things and you add them to local inventory, it will actually keep track of that data for you. And it will reduce any time you do a shipment because it will see that um, that number show up in a, an inbound shipping and it will reduce the local inventory for you. So if you're doing wholesale or you're buying a lot of retail arbitrage products and you have stuff at a warehouse or at a prep center, it will actually track this local inventory for you, which is a very, very useful tool in being able to uh, keep track of all the products that you have um, at your warehouse or at a prep center. Now there is a buy quantity section. So this is as you're creating your buy list, uh, you can uh, enter in the number. So if I put in one, it will uh, automatically change the amount that you need to purchase. And it actually dropped it down here. So because the it's, it's sorted right now by 30 days. So if I put in uh, five, it will drop that down accordingly as well. So you can see it went from 55 down to 51 because I've added five total. And if I take that out and make it back to zero, then it will go back up to uh, 56 and it pops up 
back to the top. So right now it's sorted by 30 days, but you can sort it by 60 days or 90 days as well if you'd like. Um, these 30 day pie quantities are suggestions based off of your sales. So if you were to hover over this, it's gonna show you how many orders you had, how many units you had uh, sold, as well as the sales amount based off of your selling price data. And then there's pending orders, inbound inventory as well. It goes into that calculation because if you have stuff on the way to Amazon, we don't want to have you repurchase those products. Uh, and then the recommended buy list adjustment based off of that information. So we suggest for a 30-day period, you buy 56 more. Now, if you were to uh, click the plus button, it will add all 56 to your buy quantity and it will drop this down to uh, the lower portion of your list so that you're not seeing it anymore uh, once you have 56 in there. So if I click add it, it takes a second and then it pops it down because you no longer need to buy 56 because that moved over to the buy quantity section. Now you can do the same thing with 60 days and 90 days. And we're constantly making updates to this um, as we get user suggestions. So if there's anything that you have a suggestion for, please let us know. Um, but you can see the same information for why we're suggesting it for a 60 day or 90 day period. You can see the profit and all of that information is there if you're to hover over it. Now this product has a negative profit, so it's probably one that you wouldn't want to buy again, but uh, we do want to show that information to you. And that's based off of your settings as well. So as you're onboarding, we show you um, how we set up the profit based off of what you want it to be set up off of. So if you want it set up from the buy box, then we can do that. If you want it set up from your actual sales price, we can do that as well, or the lowest FBA price. It's up to you, and we'll show you how to create those settings uh, on the onboarding after you sign up. The ROI is uh, calculated as well. It's the same uh, information, and it shows you the ROI versus the margin there. Uh, and then from here, your costs are inputted, uh, so you can actually uh, change that if you wanted to down to, let's say if it was a $15 product now, you can see it changes the profit and the ROI as well. And then your price, the reason we've got this highlighted in red is because your price is more expensive than the current buy box price. So we do try to give you a notification saying, hey, uh, you might want to check out this product even more because your price is higher than the current buy box. And whenever you're even with the buy box or you're uh, cheaper than the buy box, for whatever reason, in some cases, that might be the case. Uh, if you're cheaper than the buy box, then it won't highlight that red. So we just want to give you that notification to maybe check that product out further before you buy 56 of them because somebody else is selling them at $30 versus your current $36 price point. Now you can actually upload buy links into this. So if you're doing online arbitrage, uh, this is a really awesome feature because you can uh, put the buy links for these specific products. Let's say this was bought at, since it's a pet product, let's say it was bought at Petco. You could actually have the link to the online um, store where you would buy that from. So it could be Petco forward slash you know, Blue Buffalo Life Protection or something, whatever the link is. And you just click it and go repurchase it from there. Uh, so it's a really nice feature. Additionally, we've got supplier information here. So you can actually import all of your suppliers. You can import all of your uh, cost data. You can import a lot of information with this tool. So you don't have to manually add it, but you can manually add it. So if we wanted to just add one and say, okay, Petco is the supplier. Well, then you can search based off of that information, right? If you just want to see Petco as a supplier, you want to see Supermart, uh, you can see all of those as well. So all of these uh, columns are searchable. Uh, you can change them. You can actually put for uh, ROI. If you want to see everything over or equal to a 25% ROI, it will pull up all of that information. And then you can sort it by uh, highest to lowest or from lowest to highest. So it's a really awesome feature. Uh, if you're looking to do that. Additionally, after I sorted this, you can see that over on the far left, there's a replen column. So for those of you that are doing products that might be clearanced, or if you're doing books or something that aren't replenishable, that's not wholesale or an Amazon replenishable product, um, you can check the items that are replenishable and leave the items unchecked that aren't. And that's important because as you're trying to run your list, if you've got all the items checked, well, then you could say, I just want to see my replens so I can make my buy list from there. And keep in mind, if you saw the ROI at 25% and you want to see all of them, then you would just clear that out and it would pull in all the products that are replens for you. But I will reset that.
And so we can see all of this information. Now, uh, additionally, you've got store sections, which you can upload. So if you're shopping uh, at a specific store and you want to make sure that, okay, this item is in grocery aisle five, you can actually track that information. So when you're creating your buy list, that will pull up on your buy list uh, for your shoppers. So it's a little bit of an easier organizational tool and you can import these as well if you've ever had them, um, if you've ever had them separated or listed out someplace else. And then if you wanna add notes, you can do that as well. And then lastly, you can look at active versus inactive inventory. So if you just wanna see everything that's active, great. If you wanna see all of your inventory, then it will pull up all of the inventory. Now, looking at the import section, if you click uh, on import, you can click to upload a CSV file. And uh, that CSV file, typically, uh, we've got onboarding information for how to do that as well. But that's where you'll be able to import all of your cost prices. You'll be able to import all of your suppliers. It, it takes very little time to do that, especially if you're using either a spreadsheet or you're using something from Inventory Lab or another inventory management uh, software. Uh, so it's very simple to import. Additionally, you can export your products. So if you just want to export all your replens, you can just check replen and click download. If you want to export all the products, you can do that and you can add what you want to export, the title, uh, the ASIN, you know, the seller SKUs, et cetera. So you can export that and it will download as a CSV file for you as well. So you can um, play around with the data. If you'd like to use Excel or, or Google Sheets, you can do that um, with this software. Now, I want to show you, uh, as I added things to the buy list, we have an app. So you can see I added 56 of this. So this phone app that is uh, it's either coming out right now or it's about to come out. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, it's, it's either here or about to come out. But if you, you noticed whenever I added something to the buy list, it pulled over to this phone app and it shows you how many that you, you need. So 56, you can click into there. Some of this information is actually going to change because we are currently updating this, but I just wanted to show you just a quick overview and we'll actually have a separate video once the app is completely finished. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how this all works so that you can actually send this data to your shoppers and your shoppers can select, okay, the expiration date, how many they purchased, and it will add to your local inventory for that specific product which is a really awesome feature. And it updates within a minute or two. Uh, so all of your shoppers can utilize this at the same time. And um, there's a ton of cool features with this, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a, a highlight on how that works. So, yep, that is the overview of how Replan Dashboard works for you. There's a lot of other cool settings and things that you can do, but I wanted to show you, this is what the product looks like. We're continuing to make new updates and you can see all of your inventory data in terms of you know, everything that, uh, that has happened in the sales process, as well as why we recommend these buy quantities based off of your actual history. Uh, it's not based off of any algorithm that we come up with. We are actually doing this based off of your history and um, give you a ton of great information to make the right decisions for your business. And lastly, you can see uh, there's a what's new section. So as we add different things to this, you can actually keep up to date with the, the what's new section. Now, once this, uh, this new update comes out, there will be a lot of uh, added features. We have not updated this since um, you know, July of 2020, but as the new update comes out, we will continue to update the what's new section for you to be able to keep up with. And then lastly, I guess I, I had said lastly before, but there's also a help button down here. If you click on this, you can see frequently asked questions and instant answers that you can try to find the answers to, or you can send us a support ticket um, here. So it's a really uh, user-friendly tool that, uh, yeah, if you ever need to contact support, please do so there or join our Facebook group, um, which is Replen Dashboard Official Support. That's the title of the group and you can join that for free um, and you can post questions in there as well. And then last, uh, last thing for the support anyway, is you can also click get help and it will open up your email browser to be able to send an email to us. So hopefully this helps. Uh, really excited that you're checking out uh, Replen Dashboard. It's been a huge, huge difference in our, our Replen's business, uh, as well as our wholesale business. Uh, all of our repurchasing decisions come from using Replen Dashboard, and we are continuing to pour uh, more and more time and resources into developing out this tool to make it better, including that shopping app. So really excited that you're here. Thank you so much again for checking this all out, and I hope you have a blessed day.